everyone and welcome back to 101 Dalmatians The Sims 3 Challenge with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content. And we are back on the Radcliffe Deerly Farm and Pongo is very happy and looking good today. Pongo is pretty excited because a lot of awesome things have happened and actually some of those things we have uh, accidentally missed out on because believe it or not the last episode kind of poofed into thin air in complete accident. It was really, really awful when I realized that all of the big adventures we had been up to in the last episode just disappeared because that episode is now lost, lost forever. But we are going to be uh, catching up on everything and there's some major changes in the family. Like, are you ready for this, Pongo? Are you ready for this? Like a new baby! There is a new baby in the family and there is a new crib inside of the nursery because Anita has actually had her little baby. And it was really exciting. Roger came home from that day. He was having a really horrible, horrible day, if you guys remember last time. Just totally cranky, feeling like everything was chaotic and messy and stressful. And he was hungry and he was out trying to make some money at the park and playing at the Sim Fest. And just nothing was going his way. He even ended up being in that magician trick, which I thought was really cool. But I don't know how it's going to suit your mood to be like stabbed in the side with a whole bunch of swords. So as you can see, he is just like totally blissful right now, though, because last Last night, he and his wife woke up. They were just having like a good little kiss right over here. And all of a sudden, Anita went into labor. So she went into labor and Roger started freaking out. And they headed off to the hospital and came back with a little baby girl. So this is baby girl Andrea. So this is Andrea. She is now the third child in the family. So the Radcliffe Deerling clan continues to grow. And she is absolutely adorable. So she's little baby Andrea, born last night. She is a genius and she's clumsy. We just went with the first two traits that the randomizer picked for us. So we, we stuck with that. Eventually, I'm going to remember to put in the mod that allows us to pick any and all traits for babies and children so that we can continue with my favorite tradition of randomly picking using randomizer or dice usually some of the traits that the parents have. And you can't really pick a lot of the traits that the parents have for children because those traits are like locked just for adults. So what we are going to do is just for these guys, they're all going to just end up with random traits and then once I get that mod installed it'll be the baby gets one trait from mom one trait from dad that are randomly selected and then the other traits will kind of more reflect their life or be randomly chosen so it's going to be really fun I like seeing kind of like family traits follow through a legacy that way and that's actually how I play with my sims 2 families so it's going to be really cool but as you can see, Roger is very happy. He even brought Spotty the puppy inside the house, which isn't going to help Spotty at all because the doors are all locked to the dogs. Bridget is actually having a good time. She is actually spending some of her free time since everybody in the family is now happy for a rare moment working on her writing skill. Over here, we've got Terry. Terry had a great day at school. He actually was working on his painting skill with this extreme painting that he is painting up here for a class mural that he was asked to do. He is doing pretty good on energy, doing his homework right now like a good kid. We're going to have him finish this extreme painting just because I thought that was really cool. He completed one of the opportunities at school so that he can try to increase like his grades and performance at school. Anita is so super happy right now because she just had her little baby girl. She is just feeling fulfilled. She's completed a wish. I mean, look at her face. Both Roger and Anita are clearly over the moon to be able to have another baby in the family. So they're super happy. And Meredith is super happy because if she is not playing with her little toys, she is playing with her invisible friend right here, Meredith's little toy, who we should probably give a new name to. So what do you guys think? What kind of name should we give to her little toy that she's got here? Should it be a boy's name or a girl's name? I'm kind of leaning towards a girl's name to be like her best friend because as many of you guys know, you can eventually have this little toy right here turn into an invisible friend that that child then grows up with. And I think I really want to give Meredith that invisible friend. I have never done the invisible friend thing before. So it would be really fun. I think like maybe a little girl who can be her friend and run around with her would be really fun. And meanwhile, you may notice we're down on a few dogs because we did adopt out a couple more dogs to um, our alien friend last time too. So we did adopt out a couple more dogs to our alien friend, Suas right here, who we really should invite over. 
And Sue asks, let's see if I can find, here we go. Sue asks, took a couple of the dogs I can't remember. Was it Pepper? Maybe it was Pepper. Apparently Pepper's not going to show up right now. That's fine. That's totally fine. But that happened and I don't know if you guys were here when there were puppies born. So Lucky got a mate named Taylor, who apparently is a dog that lives nearby Lucky's new home, and now has two puppies. So we have little yellow spotted puppies. So Perdita and Pongo are now grandparents. Um, uh, to a couple puppies that are really adorable. I would love to meet them at some point. And I just love their coloring that comes through. So that's what happens when you have a purebred Dalmatian and I think a Pomeranian have babies and the results are amazing. So that's really exciting. And Perdita is still pregnant. So she could be having her puppies at any moment. So I have no idea what else is going on over here. We did put together this last time, I believe. And then I think you guys know... Like, Rolly and Pongo have been collecting a ton, I mean a ton, of super awesome, super expensive uh, pieces. Let's see, I'm going to put this large space rock out in the yard, actually, because I really wouldn't mind if Roger got abducted. Maybe that would be Suas or one of her friends giving him, you know, a present back without realizing maybe in some culture you don't just randomly impregnate other people, but that's because they're aliens. So, let's see. We have some gold with Perdita, and Rolly is the one who is normally finding things like a pink diamond or, you know, the supernovium. So Rolly is our big moneymaker. Oh, and apparently he has fleas. No. So he's sniffing out a collectible right now. And we're going to let him work on that. Pongo's off to play chase with one of the little, like, balls that the dogs love so much, which I think is so cute. And these puppies should be growing up any minute now, actually. I'm pretty sure that Thunder, yep. Thunder Daisy, who is always like startled by everything in the world because she's skittish, and Spotty are all going to be growing up pretty soon. So let's go ahead. Roger, what do you want to do? You want to fill the pet bowl? He wants to pick up Andrea, his little girl. He needs to apparently invite somebody over. I'm not sure why. To make some tips for some reason. All right, Anita, what do you want to do? You also want to... These people, they're just like on it with filling these pet bowls, making sure that nobody will ever go hungry, ever. All right, so there you go, Anita. Hopefully that'll help you out. She also wants to see Meredith age up well. She wants to talk to Daisy. It's nice that they actually have some like desires to interact with the dogs. So let's go ahead, talk to little Daisy. Let her sniff your hand. Roger, you go ahead and fill up that food bowl. He also wants to see Meredith age up well. I love seeing how like into their kids they are. And then we were also thinking to try... Oh, Rolly found a gem. Sweet. We were also thinking to try to help Roger out and be able to maybe... He's going to go check out the new object and be able to maybe get some new skills. We could try working on new skills with him. Let's have him actually go upstairs and try the piano for a little bit. Just to play alone, maybe build up some skills. I think that's going to make him pretty happy. We also kept Patch, by the way, with the intention of either breeding or training Patch. But I'm beginning to think, yay, Bridget improved her skill to, oh, she can write drama novels. <gasps> that's perfect for her because she has the drama, like the dramatic uh, diva trait. All right, that's awesome. Anita, you're just breaking the toilet all over the place. No idea why. She wants to give Pongo dearly. No, Pongo, do you have fleas? <gasps> That's two dogs with fleas. Two dogs with fleas. We've got to fix this because you can get so many points like taken off if you have a whole bunch of animals with fleas. Um, Bridget, do you want to bathe the dogs or do you want to be friends with Pongo dearly? I think Bridget would be willing to bathe the dogs. Oh, who's howling? Also, what did Rolly find? He found another septarian nodule, it seems. Awesome. What are you guys doing over here? Get out of there, Anita. You've got things to do. She wants to clean the sink, feed a treat to the dogs. Can she help her son with his homework? I think she can, but only if he asks for it. So we'll leave that alone. Um, uh, I guess I'll have Bridget help out with the dogs. And let's see. Let's take care of the baby. Does the baby need any attention? Uh, well, the new baby needs a little bit of attention. So let's come over and let's call Andrea. Let's snuggle her and play with her. Does she need a little bottle? Are you doing good, Andrea? She could probably use a little bottle. Oh, she's so cute. All right, let's give her a little bottle. Just make sure she's a happy baby. Oh, and did I give you guys... Yeah, I told you guys a few of her traits. She's a genius and she's clumsy. 
Um, she also likes Geek Rock Cheese Steak in the color pink, which I thought was really adorable. Oh, new babies, new babies. And hopefully Roger will feel better if we let him like, because he's feeling so stressed about lack of progress. Hopefully if we let him like level up his piano skill, he'll feel a little bit better. So we've got a lot of things we're kind of keeping an eye on. Perdita should be having those babies any minute now. The dogs will be growing up any minute now. Um, let's see. I heard something. I think that was my chickens. <laughs> so we'll have to keep an eye out. Are these, is this our dog? Yeah, that's Rolly. All right, where are you going with the baby? Don't, where are you, where are you taking the baby? Okay, she's just walking around with her. That's okay. As long as we're not going anywhere weird with the baby. All right, well, let's go ahead, put baby away. We need to bathe some dogs before they like get their little fleas everywhere. Hey, Troy. Ter Troy, what, Terry? I meant Terry. All right, let's go ahead. He can eat some leftover strawberry pie because it's delicious. And we'll let Anita come over and eat some leftover strawberry pie with her son. All right, how are the dogs doing? Pongo, doing pretty good. Uh, other than the fact you have fleas. So we might actually send now Roger. Yeah, now he's feeling better. Now he's feeling better because he has a new skill gained. So he's not quite so anxious to progress. So let's go ahead. We need to bathe some of these dogs before the fleas spread. Because as you can see in the instructions down in the video description, the points we lose if fleas spread to three animals are tremendous. Bridget is busy reading The Warlock of Pelidia. Probably so that she can write some drama novels. That would be hilarious. Oh, she's feeling stir crazy and like she's surrounded by filthy surroundings. Did her pie just go bad? Oh, that's awful. Anita, your pie just like went terribly bad all of a sudden. Let's get, let's clean that up. Um, is there a way? I guess that was the last of the pie. And then you know what? We'll have her serve a nice dinner. Because Anita's that kind of mom. Stew surprise, maybe? Veggie rolls, pancakes, waffles, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I feel like some grilled, um, grilled cheese, maybe? I want her to like spaghetti with veggie sauce. I feel like because they were in the middle of eating, well, we'll just go with some peanut butter and jelly. Daisy's being a goofball. Terry's just playing over in the leaves like a cute little kid. Oh my gosh, look at him. Whoa, camera. Calm down there. All right, look at him. Are you having fun, Terry? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's time for birthdays. Spotty, it's your birthday. Everybody, it's Spotty's birthday. Let's celebrate. The puppy's gonna grow up. Woo! I really hope that bath was completed. Oh, here we go. Here we go, you guys. Boom! Hello, Spotty! You are a nice, traditional looking, fantastic spotted Dalmatian adult. Oh, here we go. It's Daisy's turn. Let's check out what Daisy's gonna look like. Woohoo! Everybody's super excited. Daisy's birthday. Oh my goodness. Here she goes. And how's she gonna turn out? <gasps> Daisy, look at you. I love it. I love those thicker patches down the like other side. Whoop, here we go. The camera's just getting yanked all over the place. Thunder is now letting everybody know it's his turn to have a birthday. Oh, Thunder, hi. I think we will adopt out everybody from patch on down and just focus on building up Rolly's, uh, Rolly's skills. Oh, look at you, Thunder. Oh, you look so good. Nice dark spots on both sides. I hope those aliens are really going to be able to appreciate what awesome dogs they have the potential to have. So there we go. All right. Well, in the morning, we will probably send Roger over to the consignment store. Oh, no. Now he has fleas. <laughs> Tell me that's not three. Oh, that's three people with fleas. Oh, my gosh. We got the flea penalty. Why? Why? Okay, quick. We got we to gotta bathe Pongo again. No, Pongo. Not Patch. Pongo. All right. Oh, my goodness. We've got to hurry and bathe him. That's three, three people with fleas. Like sim and dogs on the lot and that is a bad thing that's negative points not good all right peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are made and we're gonna have little meredith let's pick her up little meredith we need to change your little diaper <gasps> read to sleep i can do that 
counting squares are not triangles. Let's do squares with not ooh, bluish eggs with a side of pastrami. <gasps> I didn't know I can read the baby to sleep. I want to do that. Oh my gosh, Terry, are you really eating ice cream? He is really eating just like a pint of ice cream. When your mom just made some nice quality peanut butter and jelly for you. Oh my goodness. There we go. Bridget, are you doing okay? Yeah, our social's doing good. How are we going to read her to sleep? I've never seen this before. There's still immense amounts of Sims 3 that I've never seen, never interacted with. Oh my gosh. That I've never seen either. That was pretty terrifying, you guys. Is that supposed to happen? No, it's not. I'm pretty darn sure that's not supposed to happen. Well, I'm properly horrified. I don't know about you guys, but that was pretty scary. Um, Bridget, are you checking on the baby? Oh, well, I think it worked. Um, there's no book or anything to, like, try reading to sleep? Really? That's not, that's not how it works here? No? All right, well, we're changing the baby diaper. Good job, Bridget. She's feeling super cooped up. So maybe we'll send Bridget to, like, submit the dog's permit papers to the consignment store. Since that's what we've decided how it works. All right, Bridget's singing with the baby. Baby's doing good. All right, we'll snuggle her a little bit. Give her another bottle. Put her in the crib. All right, ma'am. You are, you are good to go for maybe a nice shower. And everybody can start working on going to sleep. Terry, <laughs> he's being a boy. He's being like a, well, you know, like a kid, I should say. Because he's really being just a, such a kid. All right, we're going to send him to extreme sleep. Oh, and there's a cute little sheep just hanging out over here. Rolly is, meanwhile, is feeling absolutely miserable. I guess, Bridget, you're, you're up. I'm going to need your help. Go ahead and grab a plate, please. And... You go ahead, Bridget. You grab a plate, and then we're going to have to bathe Rolly. Oh my gosh, no! Pongo still has those fleas! Why? Why? This is bad. This is bad. The fleas could start spreading everywhere. Anita, are you awake enough? She is not awake enough, darn. Bridget, you kind of had a morning off while we were welcoming the new baby. So now we need your help to stop the flea infestation before it really takes over. But you have a neat trait, so I'm pretty sure Bridget, as a neat, loving animal lover would definitely be on the flea infestation for us. All right, we'll let her go ahead, clean up those plates. Come on, Bridget, put away leftovers. Look at all the babies. Man, when these kids get older, it's probably gonna be really useful to be able to have so many, so many different creatures, so many different creatures and so many different kids to help take care of them. All right, we need to take care of Pongo. ASAP, Pongo, you are getting a bath. I'm watching this happen this time, buddy, so you can't try to escape out of it. This is like the third bath he's had. He wants a flea bath. It's something he wants to happen. So let's make sure the flea bath finishes from beginning to end and doesn't spread to Bridget. All right, come on. And meanwhile, Bridget wants... Oh, she wants to clean this. <laughs> oh, I love it. She wants to clean the, the like toilet because she's like, that's messy. That needs cleaned. All right, Pongo no longer has fleas. Bridget, you are a miracle worker. I'm gonna let you clean that, no, not the house, clean the toilet because that's what she wants. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask questions, Bridget. All right, then we're gonna wake Rolly up because he's been sleeping for quite a while. And Maribel Cheek, Cheek! So she has the Pomeranian. Maribel has the Pomeranian that we uh, had one of our, our dogs go, on, go forward and actually have babies with. So that's pretty interesting. All right, we're going to take good care of Mr. Stinky, Smelly, Nasty Rolly here in just a second. We're going to let him pee, like, right there. Go ahead, finish up your business. Oh, Rolly, you are a mess. Bridget, we're going to need your help. All right, let's go ahead, take care of Rolly. Nope, not spotty. <laughs> that could be a major problem. Bathe, pet. Let's try again. Rolly. That could be a big problem with having so many dogs. It's like, okay, Bridget, go bathe the, the Dalmatian. And she's like six Dalmatians later. She's like, uh, I don't think I got the one you wanted me to. All right, let's see. Oh, Lucky and Perdita are no longer friends. And it's hard on the dogs because they're, they're no longer friends. All right, come on, Rolly. We really need to bathe you. This is a thing that has to happen. All right, 
And we're keeping an eye on Perdita because she should be having those puppies any minute now. Oh, also, you guys, I need puppy names. I lost my list I used to have for puppy names. And I really, really need more puppy names. So please feel free to add suggestions down below. I'm going to start a new list. When I moved computers, I lost my old list, unfortunately. But I'm going to start a new list of puppy names for our Dalmatians. And we'll just have to see how things go. It's really fun to see what the patterning turns out to be like. Here we go. All right. How are we doing now? Well, now she reeks and has fleas, but he no longer has fleas. And we'll send her inside. Okay. I think the flea crisis, other than on the humans now having fleas, has been taken care of. All right. No fleas. 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 Good. All right, but we do have somebody who needs to wake up and eat because they're super hungry. And Rolly, how you doing, buddy? He, he's going to go in here and he's going to chew on a little chew thing. And meanwhile, how's Perdita? She's doing pretty good. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, that just happened all of a sudden. Perdita, Perdita, there was no warning. She just had her babies. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was the that was, uh, puppies, puppies in the barn. No, oh my gosh, look at this little charmer. Look at this little charmer down here. Do you guys see, uh, do you see, see what I see? Do you see that coy, adorable little glance of uh, eyes we have right here? That is one very, very cute puppy. Oh my gosh, that's a really, that's a cutie patootie. All right, let's see, who are you? Are you puppy number one? So that's puppy number one, this is puppy number two. Pretty to just like, ta-da, two puppies. Without warning. Oh my goodness, look at them. Look at them. They're so spotty. I feel like these ones are spottier than usual. Oh my gosh, congratulations, Perdita. Oh, what do you think? Oh, she has happy looks in her eyes. This is cool. All right. All right, well, we're going to have to rename them. <laughs> they were just bored out of the blue there. She wants to be best friends with puppy number two, play with another pet. Uh, sleep until she's fully rested. Let's try playing. Special. Play. Goof around. Oh my gosh. Well, if everybody was awake, I could end up, like, having them come out and visit with the puppies. But we'll have to wake somebody up in just a minute. Terry! <laughs> Terry's awake! Oh my gosh! And he's coming out to be like, yay, puppies! And we can actually name the pets from him! So we've got puppy number one right here. So let's go ahead and turtle. He wants to name him. We're going to name him turtle. Let's let Terry name the dogs this time because he's the one who like woke up in time to see the birth. So we're going to name him turtle and not Rufus. We're going to name one turtle and is puppy number two a boy or a girl? Um, puppy number two is a little boy. Puppy number one is also a little boy. And apparently he's enjoying that it's spooky time. So he likes spooky time. He's neat and a hunter. And then we have an adventurous genius from puppy number two, who is a little boy here. So let's go with, we're going to go with, um, I think Skittles. We're going to go with the name Skittles because Turtle and Skittles sound like a name that a kid would name some puppies. And Terry's the one who's wide awake and seeing this happen right now. So let's go with Skittles, the little Dalmatian puppy. And then we also have some miserable babies. It's time to wake up the parents. And awesome. All right, Terry. Well, congratulations. You've got some like new puppies in your life. Awesome, and your sisters are really upset, and it's like 3 in the morning, and you should really go back to sleep. But this is... <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Hungry, hungry baby. All right, come up. Uh, who's, who's Dad's had more sleep. All right, come on. You know how it is. Let's feed her in the high chair. We've got, we've got things to do. You got to take care of little baby Meredith. But all right, so life continues, continues being busy as always, and apparently there's fleas still involved on the, the Sims. Uh, with the family, I know, Meredith, I'm very sorry about your, the inconvenience that you feel like you're going through right now. And, yeah, it looks like Daisy is being super skittish. She's just running around in circles. Um, I don't know if I can calm her down. I think I can calm her down. Apparently she's been running around in circles for a while now, because she's like that. Terry, where are you going? And he's just still cheering because he's so excited about the new puppies. All right, well, that's fine. Yeah, he's just thrilled. This is like the best thing that has happened in his young life. So he's absolutely thrilled. And he wants to see a wild horse. 
<laughs> oh, that is so fun. Oh, look at him. He's like, yeah, this is so cool. My dog just had puppies. Oh, and everybody else is waking up. I heard it. Everybody else is waking up. And yep. There he is. So he's cheering the new puppies. But all right, guys. So new babies born all over the place. You guys have now been introduced to Andrea, who is feeling super lonely. Where the heck did Meredith go? We've lost the toddler. Don't panic. Oh, there she is. Thank goodness. So yeah, new baby, uh, Sim, and new baby puppies. So yay. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And we will have to take, I think we're going to take Thunder, Spotty, and Daisy maybe patch because i just don't know if i want to keep him for breeding or not but i love his patch so i i think we might keep him for a while we'll see if we can train him up and get his skills to be a little bit better but we'll keep um yeah we'll keep patch and rolly for now because we're still trying to decide which dogs we might continue to generation three on the dogs with and otherwise we're gonna go ahead raise our little babies and raise all of our little sim babies and continue to see where the family stories go so i will see you guys next time Bye bye